Mushroom Gecko. Hello guys, Mushroom Gecko here, and uh, Seth Tyler is such an imposter. Sorry guys, let you had to deal with that. Uh, wait, so, uh, why, why is, like, alright, hang on. Uh, hang on, hang on. Alright, here we go. So, um, so here we go. So, first, we have artificial lightning. Now, there we go. Now that is artificial lightning. Now how do you like that? I really personally like this. It is awesome. It is amazing. And Mushroom Gecko is going to be using this for Hyper Heroes. It is going to be so cool. Or Hyper Powers, whatever it is. Alright, so next, if I get a cow or something... Alright, so this is for the mass grade class, but uh, one thing is that it uh, kind of damages everything, including yourself. So, uh, it gives you the wither effect, but it damages you, which uh, kind of stinks, but who, who really cares, am I right? Did somebody say my name? I'm supposed to shut up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh. Okay. Alright, so a cow just died and it, and it blew up from my lightning. Alright, I have an idea. I have an idea. Hey, Venom, if you were watching this, this is definitely for you. Oh my gosh, I just blew up the cow two times. Hey, Venom, buddy, this is totally for you. And then Sky, you are next. So, yeah. Sometimes it does glitch. It glitches out like that, but uh, yeah. Hand slash game rule. Uh, do my blute false. And here we go. All right, so the cow should not really drop anything. That's awesome. Alright, so, Sky, this is for you, buddy. Here's a squid, and then we are going to blow it up with lightning. Okay, how did the squid seriously survive that? Alright, you know what? Let's try that again. Holy crap, this squid just flew like five blocks high. It's so cool. What? What do you want? Stop, stop, stop. Alright, uh, sorry, I lost my shield. Alright, next, uh, I think I already showed you guys this, but... Oh. <laughs> I love withering things! Alright, so for the mass grade class, if you are the mass grade class, I suggest like shoot it up high. So it constantly gives the player the wither effect until it like lands and but it still gives them the effect. So yeah. So spunk out. So yeah, wither balls. That that, that that's just so cool. Wither balls. I chopped them off for you. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just like withering everything. I'm withering absolutely everything. Like, like I have it set to at E, so it like withers every single entity on this map. So yeah, let, let me actually go to peaceful and slash time set day. And then here we go. So then, uh, let's show you the commands for the stuff, and then I will show you guys how to, like, do your own thing. Oh, yeah, and if you notice, if the, uh, when the snowball flies, uh, it, like, I don't know why it's not, but, like, but it's supposed to, be, like, do, do some particle thing. Uh, that's why. Capital F. 
So yeah, if, if it flies, it like does this particle thing. Email me that that video. I will. Do it. Actually, mushroom gecko will. Ah man, does it really have enough to throw all those things? Yes, because you are a gecko, and you and you should have responsibility. Geckos should have responsibilities too. <laughs> I'm withering everything. All right. Okay, uh, that's gonna be annoying also, so hang on, wait, 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 let me get that. So, yeah, it like... So, I honestly think this is probably my, my favorite redstone experiment, so... Uh, it's just so awesome, I mean, like... How could you not like something where you can make your own artificial lightning and you can wither players just by throwing a snowball? So, okay, why are you, like, not... So, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think it goes, like, way too fast. That's Probably that's why. Yep. So, here. Oh, now. Okay, I have no idea what I just did, but that is so cool. Okay, here we go. So, uh. Alright, hang on. Ah, I'm messing. I'm, d like, derping everything up today. So, let's get a hopper. Hoppa, hoppa, hoppa. Nope. Alright, so that, 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 and that, and I'm showing you guys how to make a hopper clock so you guys don't be in the description line. Don't make a hopper clock! Because I'll tell you. So, 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 like, there you go. This is, like, your, your thingamabobber, and you, like, do stuff. And. Hang on, alright, so let's just put this back. And then let's just have some more fun. I just love this Redstone Experiments video. It is so awesome. Like, seriously, you can make your own lightning. So you can even do some cool things. Like, if you throw it at your feet, you can, like, launch yourself. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I have an idea. I am going to do something. Nope. Wrong one. All right. So, power. How about power to the ten? Power t to the 10th power. So let's go over here. Away from the command block. Holy crud! Yeah, this is what you can do, guys. Like, this is the mass destruction that you can do. Oh, yeah, so the reason why I'm not on my regular world is because I, like, derp it up so hard, like I just did here. So... Alright, now, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the commands. Actually, wait. Final goal! Okay. So, you, you, we don't need, like, like, like all that stuff, because command blocks are invincible. Alright, so right here is the, um, right here is the lightning. So, we want to execute type equal item, so we're gonna execute it at a lightning rod, or a blaze rod, or whatever you want to call it. I call, I'm gonna rename it a lightning rod in the, uh, thing. So, so then, uh, we're gonna do this command right here, right at the blaze rod. So, we're gonna summon particles, like, one block at the, um, like, one block right above the uh, blaze rod. And then, uh, hang on, uh, I need to, all right. And then we are doing this, and this, and this, and this. If you guys don't know what this, 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 and this is, these are, like, the, um... The rotation values, this is how high you want it, and this is how, or, um, yeah, like, how, how you want to modify it, and this is how many particles you want at a time. So then we are going one block above the, uh, blaze rod, and then we're just gonna, don't, don't even worry about the, you don't even need to worry about the 100, because that just does absolutely nothing. So we're gonna make it go up in a straight line by implementing it to 100, 
and then we're going to summon 10,000 10, particles at a time. Now, uh, that, that creates the little lightning effect, so, um, actually I can't because I just destroyed everything. So, now, over here, we are going to uh, execute at the, at the blaze rod again, and then this time we're going to do it directly right over the blaze rod. And then we're going to summon a fireball one block above the blaze rod. And then we're going to set the explosion power to 10, which makes that giant crater. And then this direction right here, we're going to do negative 1, so it flies down and, like, doesn't stay stationary. I'm going to go kill myself. No. Alright, so, uh, so I'm going to probably bleep that out. If you guys didn't, if I, if I go back to the video and I did not hear that, then I will not bleep it out. So, um... Oh, yeah, and this is, like, an awesome item detection thing, too, because if I grab a button, you guys can probably see that stone right there. But if you can't, hang on. But if you can't, I'm going to do that. And it tells me where the stone is. So, like, awesome item detection. So, like, it does that for any item, but, like, the only few things I'm going to have in the arena is the, um... And I'm going to make it so that you can't drop stuff, too. At least, I'll, I'll find a way. So, you can only drop the, the blaze rod, or lightning rod, and I'm going to call it. So, um... So, what I'm going to do, uh, for the wither thing, is that I'm going to execute at a snowball, right on the snowball, to do the effect command at every single entity. And then we're going to do 20, which is the ID for the wither uh, um, effect, and then we're going to do it for 10 seconds. Now then, for this, you don't really need to worry about this, but we're going to execute at the snowball, right on top of the snowball, like right dead on the snowball. We are going to do a magic critical hit, which is like, um, if you have sharpness on a sword, that's what we're doing. So then we're going to do it right on the, um, right on the snowball. Like I said, you don't need the 100, and you don't need to worry about the 0 either. We are going to uh, do 1, which like kind of keeps it in balance. And then we're going to do 100 particles at a time. So if what we're going to do is if I threw a snowball, um, um, okay, hang on. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw that. Hang on. So yeah, if you guys saw, you you guys can see some of the critical hit thingy. So we're just gonna do this. So yeah, you guys can see like the little critical thing. Oh, that was a good one. So uh, yeah. So that's basically it for this Redstone Experiments video, guys. Uh, next time, um, this is the second to last video of the series for the hyper here uh, for the hyper powered map making. So um. So, every single thing that we did since episode 1 of Redstone Experiments, or Commander, whatever you guys want to call it, we are going to implement in the game. So, the gambling table, we're going to estimate, or we're going to do it so, uh, whoever gets, like, the first special attack, or whoever gets the special attack first, or, or whoever, I don't know, I'm going to figure it out, alright? So, once I figure it out, I will tell you guys. So maybe if you guys want to like determine who who gets a certain class, you uh, and if you guys are arguing over it, you guys can use the gambling table and like determine if uh, who who gets the class. Like like let's say you want the mushroom gecko class, you can use the gam and if you guys are fighting over it because you guys like that class so much, uh, you guys can use the gambling table and you guys can determine who is uh, getting that. So uh, yeah, I'm also gonna do the big blow yuppie button where. Uh, it, like, heals you for a few seconds or something, or bring you to a shop. I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah. So. And then, like, the custom pets, it's going to be a, um, gonna be a shop item. So, yeah, um, pretty cool things are gonna happen in the Redstone Experiment. Or, I would like to congratulate Mushroom Gecko for, uh, going all this far with his... Redstone, stuff. Hey, wait, hey, wait, also my shit, I don't think they can hear you. Again. 
Uh, I like to congratulate Mushroom for lear learning all this stuff all by himself. I remember teaching him the basics. Yeah, actually, you, 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 don't te you did not teach me anything about Redstone, but I did see some of your videos, so that they were pretty helpful. Yeah, so, uh, so, um, applause to him. But this yeah. will not be the end for Redstone Commander altogether. This is just the season finale or something. So, uh, yeah, guys. Well, I can't wait for Hyperpower to come out. I'm going to have a whole bunch of classes. I might read them off real quick. Um, just to give you a little sneak peek. And, uh, yeah. And apparently someone on Twitter just favorited a comment about me uh, saying my Redstone experiment thing about the artificial lightning. So, yeah. All right. So let me read out some things. So we're going to have the Sceptar class, where uh, we did the video of him uh, of disappearing in the Creepers. If you guys don't remember that, I will send a link in the description below. Um, we're going to have Osmice G rain down TNT on his opponents. Like that, dude? And then we're going to have Masquerade do the Wither Snowball thing that we just discussed. Mushroom Gecko do the Lightning Rod. We're going to have Java do some sort of raining anvil thing. Uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty basic redstone. All you do is just do slash set block and bill, and you just set it to like 10 blocks high. So then we're going to have Lego Weather do a meteor shower that I might dis, uh, discuss sometime. Hang on, wait, I think we can do that real quick, actually. Um, so let's just grab a command block. And then we are going to, um, hang on, wrong one, uh, we are going to do, so, control A, control C, alright, and then copy it into this command block right here, control V, and then we're just going to get rid of this line right here, then we're just going to do slash summon, and then we're just going to set that to 1, so it doesn't obliterate everything. We are going to then set this to 10, and then we're going to make it go forward 1. So, yeah. Um. Yep, wait, hang on, I, I did something wrong. So, um, oh, wait, wait, we don't want it to go down that, that much. So, we're going to set it to 10 blocks high. So, yeah. Maybe set this to 50 real quick, just to do something. Aw, oh, man. Hang on, uh, let's do the direction, maybe 10. Uh, 100, maybe? Oh, yeah. So that, oh, yeah. We're definitely going to do something with that. So, yeah, that's just one meteor. I'm going to have them sp spawn, like, three meteors at once. And it, um, and I kind of try to even out everything. So, like, not too overpowered. So, uh, yeah, let's do this real quick. And maybe set this to... Maybe, maybe to five. So yeah, maybe we can do something like that. Where it's kind of slow. Maybe we can have them sp spawn like five. So since they're real slow, give people some time to dodge, but we're going to like spread them out. So it has some sort of chance to hit someone. So uh, yeah, how do you like that, Awesome Ice G? Hello? Hello? So how do you like that with the whole meteor thing? It's like coming down, but like it's coming really slowly. But I'm gonna have the, uh, him spawn like five, so uh, it like so since they go slow, it gives people time to dodge. But we're gonna spawn like five, so like people can it has some sort of chance to hit some point. So uh, so yeah, let me read off the uh, other few things. We're gonna have Ellie Rock do a deadly pig. Where it is a pig riding a silverfish and it attacks your opponents. So uh, that's the one where you make your own custom mob. Fun question. 
And then uh, for Unicorn Swag, or uh, Cameron Smith 828, I think, I'm not sure. Um, I will discuss the Swagalicious Blade, which is a very high enchant sword, next video. Alright guys, so uh, hope you like the season finale. Not, not yet, yet the season finale. But I uh, hope you guys liked Redstone Commander, and uh, I cannot wait to get to on to Season 2. Now, what I'm going to do is copy over the world from uh, the original Red um, Hyper Powers, and then just add on classes from there, and then we'll just keep improving every update, or every season from uh, Redstone Commander. So, uh, yeah, see you guys. Little wonderful life of the Mysterium Mushroom. Have a good time in the club, Gecko, and keep the gem shining on. Kick her out. Boop. And do not forget... So, to use my, um, to use my class on hyper powers, if you like the lightning thing. So, yeah. Oh, and, uh, it's gonna be based off of hyper heroes, where you can, like, have a gem and stuff, and the gem will attack for you. So, uh, yeah. See you guys. My special power should be teleporting into the middle of nowhere. So, you want to teleport into the void. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> I hope <laughs> All right. Um, if you guys don't know what he means, then uh, then I'll send a link to the video where uh, he gets sent in the middle of nowhere. So uh, and this will uh, and this will also teach you to never set your spawn point in the end. So yeah. Um, see you guys. I uh, don't know what to say. I mean, it's uh, been a very awesome series. Yeah, see you guys. Awesome, my she outro. Alright, stay awesome guys, stay cool and I'll smash these out of here. Alright, see you guys.